So some of you know, I have a radio show on High Plains Public Radio. It's called What the Folk. Uh, and my show this week is all about uh, songs about New Mexico. This is a song that I wrote about New Mexico. We, uh, Christy and I both grew up there in Albuquerque. It's called A Place Called Home. Nice tambourine there. Lived in so many places Went to so many schools By the time I'd learned To play the game We'd move on and change the rules Well, I never knew the reasons Why we never stayed in one place I failed to recognize The haunted look on your face Well, I know you had your demons They followed you wherever you go And you went searching Searching for a place A place you call Now for you, those days are over. You gave your pound of flesh and paid your dues. You bought a little house on a hill with a highway for review. That highway seemed to call to me. Like a siren song at night Tried so hard to ignore it Tried with all my might Well, I know you had your demons I guess I've got some demons of my own so I went searching, searching for a place, a place that I call home. Those are I know someday home will show itself Make itself known to me Well, I know you had your deep 
Guess I've got some demons of my own And I'm still searching, searching Searching for a place, a place that I call home. Place that I call home. Thank you very much. So this song is really a co-write with my wife, Christy. She wrote a poem and showed it to me. And about two, three months later, I wrote this song, I showed it to her, and she said, do you remember that poem I wrote a couple of months ago? I said, no. I had plagiarized my own wife. It's not right. But as the temperature changes, that's today's excuse, the changing temperature. Because there's a thousand and one excuses for tuning. New strings, that's number one on the list. Bad strings, old strings is number two. So this is called, uh, called Here All the Time. Standing at the mirror shaved off my beard just to see my father's face once again I was stunned by the changes and the similarities I didn't know it was there all the time it was there all the time Right before my eyes, it was there, it was there all the time. Used to go barefoot nearly every day, cause I never thought that I had shoes to fill. I was cleaning out my closet, hidden there way in the back. Who knew they were there all the time? They were there all the time. Right before my eyes, they were there. They were there all the time. Last night I had a dream You were drinking beer on your porch That's how I knew it was a dream You looked me in the eye And said, son, you never knew You never knew that I've been here all the time I've been here all the time Right before your eyes I've been here, I've been here All the time Well, I've been here, I've been here All the time
Thank you. Like a lot of people, I spent about three months on furlough last year, at the beginning of the pandemic. I was kind of thinking, thank you, baby, appreciate it, that, uh, you know, a song written specifically about something like that is uh, probably has a shelf life. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we're done. I, I think we're we're still okay singing songs about uh, the pandemic. So I haven't played this in a while, I realize. So excuse me, I'm going to have to uh, find my lyrics. Do you have trouble remembering your own songs? I know, you and I just I talked know, about I, this. I was singing at church one time years and years ago. Got halfway through the first verse and forgot the words. Well, at home, you know, I'd just stop and say some expletive and right. start over. Can't do that in church. Well, you can, and, but, you know. Well, you could have, but I started over and got through it, but it was it was very embarrassing. And I may forget one tonight. So I actually wrote two songs during my furlough, which for me doesn't happen. Two songs in, a, in the space of three months, it's unheard of. So this is one of the things I learned while I was on, on my furlough. Sort of, it's how to play the ukulele. Sitting on the couch In the middle of the day Please don't ask me if I'm wearing pants Laundry is piling up The yard should get mowed But I've got a nap in my future So much to do, so little motivation. So much time, so much to do, so little motivation. Nobody's coming by, nobody's going out. Just another great day in social isolation. Tomorrow's just the same as the day before. And I don't even know what day it is anymore. So much time, so much to do. So little motivation So much time So much to do So little motivation What does it matter If the cars are dirty Going nowhere, and I'm pretty sure I'll still be furloughed tomorrow. So much time, so much to do, so little motivation. So much time, so much to do, so little motivation. So much time, so much to do, so little motivation. Excellent. Thank you very much. So, uh, 
Christy and I had a friend uh, uh, who died last year um, in prison. And uh, for some, somehow I, I took all of the stories that he had told us over the last couple of years, things about his life, and put them all into a song, uh, and wrote this song. And, and it's not a, it's a ballad. It's a, a, a story song, something that I've not done before. It's called The Ballad of Tom Doyle. Born in Bisbee, Arizona, in the middle of July. He was an only child, the apple of their eye. The family moved to Houston soon after that. Packed the bags, packed the car, and never looked back. Families don't always stay together, they often come unwound. They tried so hard to make it work, but hard times wore them down. The family fell apart, Tom got shuffled round and round. Between his dad's house and his mom's on the other side of town. Tom's teens were no better, got skirted round the law. Never finished high school, nothing for him there he saw. But music saved his life, yeah, music got him through. Left home at 17 to see what he could do. After years of getting by, he opened up a record store, but he made his living scalping concert tickets by the score. Had a few good happy years, saw every band that came to town. Things were going pretty smooth till a woman brought him down. Drugs got in the way of reason by the time that she was done. With her story to the cops, Tom had to make a run. Didn't get very far, yeah, they caught him right away. Locked him up never again to see the light of day. He would listen to the radio, write us letters every week. Someone to talk to is all he would seek. He'd send us lists and lists of songs he'd hope to hear one day. Put them in an the bar that never died a day. Died in his sleep one night, all alone in his cell. Could have been a heart attack, although they'll never tell. They buried him in Huntsville, in the state prison yard. No one was there to see him off, just the chaplain and a guard. We don't know the whole story, what put him inside. We don't know the details of how he really died. It doesn't really matter he, how he ended up that way. He was a friend to us as we were to him, and we miss him every day. He was a friend to us as we were to him, and we miss him every day.
Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. <clears throat> nice. Okay, folks, last round. I know. It seems like we just got started. <laughs> So, after that round, I kind of feel like there needs to be a happy song, but for those of you that know me, <laughs> I have a, 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 an old friend who came up to me once at a gig and said, Mike Fuller, you are the only person I know who can make Christmas sad. So, last year at the beginning of the, the pandemic, as we, we were seeing the, the numbers get worse and worse every day, and just the, the, the news getting worse and worse, we kept seeing all these pictures of the, uh, the two Navy hospital ships, the Comfort and the Mercy. I had this piece of music for about two weeks. I saw this picture of the two ships, and I wrote this song. It's called Comfort and Mercy. Comfort in the east, and mercy in the west, and millions of people stuck in between. Widespread indifference and reckless behavior. We can't let ignorance tear us down. So wash your hands and keep your distance. The writing's on the wall in every town. Comfort in the east and mercy in the west and millions of people living in between. everywhere it is allowed to be compassion and kindness for all to see community prevails through adversity with overwhelming generosity Comfort in the east and mercy in the west and millions of people surviving in between. Millions of people surviving in between. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's Maggie Burt and <laughs> Rick you. Brannigan and Chad Land. My name is Mike Fuller. Thank you so much for coming out all. tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you to Nate and to Liz, and happy anniversary again. Uh, thank you for the use of this beautiful, beautiful space. Uh, and thanks to Hillary, yes, because she... Uh, put all this together, this whole series this summer. Uh, Hillary, I know you're here somewhere. Thank you. Uh, thanks to Chow Savvy and, uh, and HPPR, and thank you all.
uh, for coming. Uh, please drive safe going home. Good night.